Hi and welcome. Today let's look at a hashing method called bcrypt. So using Java we're using a library from um, Mandra I think it's pronounced and and since it's um, possible to achieve the dependency through Maven now we're going to use Maven to uh, download the dependency for us and then we can use the actual bcrypt. So the first thing we're going to do is just to look at the actual web page. Um, and it kind of tells us that this simple code can be um, enough to do our hashing. This is the dependency we need to add to Maven. And the version is 0.03, but there is a 0.04 version, which I just found. and just searching for jbcrypt on, you can see it's mandrid, I think it's called, mandrid, yeah. So we're gonna use that. So let's go to create a project, already created one, let's add some framework uh, support and go and pick Maven. Now we just need to add the dependencies tag and then put in the dependency that we just copied from MVN repositories. So let's go ahead and create a new file. It's going to be a standard Java file. And inside of that, let's create a name first. Um, so let's uh, just zoom a bit. And let's create a static main method now for a possible way to start our program. Then let's go to the actual web page, which is this one that I just looked at. It's a GitHub repository. I'm going to copy paste the code and put it in. Now, since I already installed the dependency, uh, I only need to copy paste the code to create a simple example of the bcrypt. As you can see, I cannot import the library, so I guess I need to refresh my Maven pom file, which you see in the top right corner is a small icon. I'm gonna click that. It's a new thing in the newer version of IntelliJ 2021 or 2020, I think it is. So it's installed now, and now we can see that a line is under the bcrypt word, and we can now import the dependency. And now we only need to create the actual variable called password and candidate. So I'm gonna create the two variables. The password is what is coming from outside, it's going to be test, and the candidate is, is uh, something that, well, we're going to test up against. One could say the candidate is something that comes from the outside. Anyway, it's not that important. So the run is finished, and now we can see that the password is matching. It is very small on my screen, I hope you can see it. So I'm going to zoom a bit, that it matches. All right, so the two password matches, I'm going to change one of them to test number two and we see now that the does not match so let's uh, create a um, pepper now because we're gonna assume that we are using some pepper some secure random string and we're just gonna concatenate that to the actual salt generation which is also a string so in this occasion we can just concatenate it to the salt and of course, need to remove the number two, run the code again, and we can see that the two passwords now matches again. So this is a way you can use the bcrypt algorithm for Java, importing it through Maven as a dependency, and then just very few lines, we can use bcrypt. So I hope you liked this video, and until next time, I will see you again, bye. Thank you.